in this video we are going to see about the practical programming for higher secondary students part 1 this is the first program so let me explain initially what about programming and what is a language okay so programming language is a language by which a user can communicate with the computer computer is not intelligent to understand the things what we speak so it is the duty of the programmer to tell this is what the instructions i will give you and this is what how you are going to understand so a programmer he practically thinks about the logic and then he writes as an instruction and give it to the computer the computer just to process it and give it to the user okay for that we have a language called high level languages there are many high level languages to program but the part what you are going to learn is about the c plus plus language which is a higher version of c okay so now what is programming is we give the instruction to the computer to do some work what we need for that we have to follow some set of instructions and that instructions will be given in a general syntax format so that system can understand okay so now here when we say uh, suppose you are asked to uh, do some problems for example you say you just calculate the area of a square then what will you say what is the side of the square you will ask that means without an input we cannot process the program so any programming language consists of basically three parts input part processing part and output part input part the programmer tell what is the variable and what is the output and the input variables the system has to give and then in the processing part the programmer implements the logic what is the logic to solve this particular problem and then finally the output portion which will tell about the what is the calculated value after the programming okay so this is the general parts of the any programming language so now we have two types of programming language in general procedural language and object oriented language procedural language is we give a procedure step by step and system will solve the problem for you what is object oriented language is we use the concept of object over here object is generally how we see the things in the day to day life for example i see a car as an object it has some attributes it also some functions when you say a car a car is having four wheels a brake and so on many parts are there and when you say what is the function is the car we can drive the car runs the car has the speed brake it controls so these are i carry some person so these are all the functions their car can do so generally any object used to say it is consists of an attributes that is the qualities and then that is the functions so now in your programming part we have two types of programming concepts procedural language and object oriented language in the case of procedural language that is the programming from 1 to 7 the exercises from 1 to 7 are simply based on formulas and logics there is no class concept is given but in the case of object oriented programming concept from program 8 to 10 it is implemented using the object oriented problem generally when the problem is of bigger size when the data is of very much sensitive or we wanted to reuse the particular object or data we go for the pro programming concept called object oriented programming but just to say you an example how this object oriented program will look like they are given some example but generally in practical life only the large programs like when you like develop a software or we write a many lines of code we always go for this object oriented programming okay so now and what is the classes class is a template class is a template on which are a framework on which something can be built out and what is an object is an object is nothing but it is an runtime entity of an of an of class okay so when you say a framework i say a vehicle is a framework a vehicle has some four wheels or two wheels or three wheels and like i say it, it has a brake it has a mirror so all the parts i can say that is the class the template what is object is i give life to the class i create that is called runtime entity i create life to the class the class is itself is static and, and is only giving the framework when i develop an object only the really the class has life okay so now 
that that's why this object is called as an runtime entity so once i give the instantiation that is called instantiation creating object for a class is called instantiation how you do we just give using class name space or variable that is called as an that variable is an object okay so now this object has methods and members like an example i said a car has wheel brake mirror engine everything that is an attributes and then it it will work it function it functions it runs it, it stops that is a methods so an object is a collection of members and methods or data and functions okay so now let us see the programming example one by one this video i will give you the first programming concept this is all about just formula calculation now the system is given to ask the calculate the gross salary of an employee given a basic salary of some range and they are given some percentage also to calculate the hre and da what is hre is house rent allowance and da is dns allowance now in any generally in any c++ programming these two header file comes include io stream and include io manip io stream is all about the input output stream because every program has input and output so io stream is a class by which the system can implement the input and the output operations and then what is io manip is it's a manipulator in the last part of the program in the printing part you must have used the set w function that will give you some spacing in your output to look neat so that for that purpose we have included the io manip header file now coming to using namespace stds we are using the standard namespace for all our variables we are going to use in this program and then now the integer part is uh, main is the main part it is the main entry in which the program starts the execution so the return value is int which means this particular program will return some integer value to the operating system that is the meaning of this int main if it is void main this program does not return any value it is void okay so now coming to this so as i told in the, in the previous uh, previously when you are asked to calculate your formula like uh, calculate the area of a square then you will ask for what is the radius value that means without the input you can't find the area of a circle so i will say then i know the formula pi r square so that also has to be given to the system so if r is the input given to us and pi is a constant everyone knows so that also but system does not know i have to give the value and r i have to give us the input then you have to give the formula area is equal to pi into r into r then system will calculate 3.14 into r value into r value and give the output this is how generally a programming concept with the formulas works here is also the same formula with where this basic salary is given some formula to calculate the hra and da so now this is the flow basic gross da and hr these are all the variables like uh, similar to when i say pi r square or radius is the value to calculate this pay, uh, gross pay i need basic pay da and hra and gross pay is the output variable so i have to define all the variables both input and the output so basic is the one you give enter as the input value that is c out enter basic salary of an employee and then c in basic now this is the input part of the program to get the basic salary from this basic salary system calculates the da and the hra based on this rule we give to the system okay so now gross is the output variable and here in this part also you see when it is c out this c out pops the message on the screen to make the user understand the system is waiting for a basic salary of an employee to process so this is a blink it, it blinks a message on the screen to indicate the user that you have to enter some value for this basic salary and then c in basic is really the system accepts when you give some value here you are really accepting a basic salary value which is c in basic okay so this is the input part is over now the rule is given as there are some three conditions based on whether the basic salary is less than 25000 or between 25000 and 40000 or it is greater than 
forty thousand. So three conditions. For three conditions, we have three different calculations for D and H R E. So so in order to make this logic, we have to use the if statement. We are using the multiple if statement or the else if ladder. If else if ladder. Even for the theoretical part of your exams, you can use this example for if else if. Ladder example. Okay, so now I have three parts. So I have given into this is one part, the first rule. This is the second part, the second rule, and this is the third part. That is the third rule. In all the three parts, D A and H R A has calculated. You can see, but based on some different calculations. That is the rule the system has, the user has given. Okay, so now if the basic salary is less than twenty five thousand, the basic pay. Should be multiplied by 80 because it is an 80 percent of the basic pay to calculate the dearness elements, and 20 percent of basic pay is the HRT. That is the formula given. So we apply the formula over here. If what the input you are gave is between 25,000 and 40,000, real different formula works out because when the salary is more, the DA is also more, or the HRT is also more. It depends upon the Rule. So now here, here between twenty five, this this statement, if statement says the salary is greater than or equal to twenty five thousand, and and is an and operator to say both conditions are true and basic is less than forty thousand. That means for the salary from twenty five thousand, including twenty five thousand till forty thousand. That means still means thirty nine thousand nine nine nine. The value for this only this calculation applies. So. If that is the value, the basic pay has to be multiplied by 90% of the 90% to get the DA. For the basic, it is 25%. So 25 into 100 to get the HRE. If your input doesn't fall in these two categories, it is not less than 25,000. It is not between 25,000 and 40,000. Then you have to go for an further if condition else if to say if the basic is greater than or equal to 40,000 because here equal to is missing. We didn't use because of this rule, so we have to include this equal to here. So, if you type forty thousand or forty thousand one rupee, also this condition will work out. Okay, so now based on this calculation, this D A will be calculated as basic pay of ninety five thousand ninety five percentage of basic pay, and H R A is thirty percent of basic pay. So. This particular part is checking portion whether your salary, what you are given the salary is less than twenty five thousand, or between twenty five thousand and forty thousand, or greater than forty thousand. Now, system has calculated D A and H R E only one value that is one D A value and one H R E value based on this conditions what the input you have given. Okay, so the calculation part is over. Now the system has to find out the gross value. What is the gross value? Is we have to add the basic pay plus HRA plus DA. Basic pay we are given as an input. HRA the system has calculated. DA also the system has calculated. We have to sum up all the values to find out the gross salary. So now we have calculated the gross salary. Now it is an output part. The output part is we have to display the output on the screen. Okay, so one format is given. So this is if you give this particular instructions for the system, the system will print out the output in this model. For that only the system has been given this in uh, this uh, statement. Okay, so now this set W twenty five is some width twenty five twenty five. Spaces are given. In this twenty-five spaces, they are going to print out this basic pay, and then after that, ten spaces given to give this real value. You can see here whatever within the codes is just to display on the screen. So basic pay here it is actually a display. It is given as a display, but basic is the variable value which has twenty-five thousand as a value for this output. So it is twenty-five is given. Okay, and then end L is end of the line. That means it goes to the next statement. So the system has has come to the next statement to print the DNS elements. So what is the next statement? C out set W twenty five is the width of the width to be left, and then DNS elements within the codes DNS elements means system simply types the DNS elements as a message, and then set W of ten some space in between this, and then they are going for DA. 
what is d is the real value dns elements calculated so the calculated value here is 22500 for this case and then next statement is endl this is the end L comes to the next statement. So now again 25 uh, space is given and then house rent elements. Simply a message with double quotes displayed. And then it has to give the HRA as the value. The value is displayed. Okay. And now this semi this uh, semicolon has to uh, colon has to be included in the printout also. Actually, it is here uh, missing here you have to use this semicolon here the this colon here also here here and here you have to include this colon then only this colon will come in the printout this this will not come as such you have to use this colon okay and now so all the three messages are printed out and then i need a line normally we add up and then we draw a line and then you write the output so for that only this particular dotted lines are given so c out set for 25 then set w 10 spaces and then here this dotted lines then end L, next line set w cross salary as a message without within the quotes and then set w some space and then go for the real gross value so the value has been found out using this formula gross is equal to basic plus hra plus da so the value has come so end line after the end line we have drawn the end line the line is closed okay so here you have to note a point here this set w and this end l are the manipulators which helps you to manipulate the output to give a proper neat output so for for the purpose of using this set w and this end l only we have used this io manip dot h that is hrfl io manip in the first of this starting of the program okay so hope you would all understand the concept of this programming uh, part so here it is mainly based upon the two functions logical checking and formulas logical checking works when we have the logic of whether the salary is between which range which, which that is the logic and what is the formula application is gross is equal to basic plus hra plus d so this programming part has two uh, type of uh, functions arithmetic function which is the calculation and the logical function which is the checking using the if statement hope you all understand the logic behind this program thanks for watching